Hey guys, it's Luke K12345 here, and you're gonna be excited what I have for today. I have a mod showcase. Now, this is a very uh, mod that's been around for quite a long time, but I'm a new YouTuber. I mean, I, I just wanna give you guys as much information about this mod as I can. So, we are doing Mo Creatures 1.5.2. So, in all these chests, I have random stuff that you can craft. You use or just tools and such all that fun stuff and you can already see some mobs already it's like you can see some elephants and bees and snakes and I'm gonna stay away from the bees because they're really annoying we have ostriches and I will go over every single mob but first I'm going to turn it to actually we don't need to turn it to easy yet so this first chest I have some items, so let's get started. In this chest, we have some horse stuff. We have, basically if you use this crafting design thing, you should get a crafted saddle. And that can be used to be put on a horse, and well, once it's tamed. Um, you can also make armor if you do gold, iron, diamond, and these essential wool colors <coughs> to make gold mount or armor, diamond mount armor, and iron mount armor. And those can be used to protect your horse a little bit more. And you just heard a kitty. And yes, there's an NPC village here. And by the way, I am using other mods, so if you see things that probably shouldn't be in this mod, like this magic seed, mystic seed, it's just I'm using other mods. So in this chest, we have some random items. This one is the hay stack, and basically you can feed this to your horse, and it'll make either make them grow faster or just, yeah. And it'll put their head down, making them stay. <coughs> and that's crafted with six wheat, and fence pattern anywhere in the crafting table will do. You should get one hay stack. And then if you don't want the hay stack, and... <coughs> If you don't want a haystack, um, and you want to keep your horses safe by keeping them in place, you can make a whip by putting one iron ingot, three leather, and three big cat claws in order like this, and you should get a whip. And with this, if you have a tamed horse, um, actually, I'll show you how to tame a horse it's really quick. Um, if you have a tamed horse, also, if you have a tamed horse, uh, I just gotta keep my words in. Um, if you have a tamed horse, then it could be used to make them stay. Um, let's go find a horse, or let's just spawn one. Probably be easier. So horse. Um. So here's here's a horse, and if it's small, hopefully we'll get a small one. That's a donkey. Um, you can use wheat to make them grow. Or you can just use an apple to tame them if they're already big. Stay still, buddy. Alright. There. That's his name. Anyway, so we're going to put a saddle on this horse. Let's put the weed away. And now, we'll just give him some armor. All you have to do is right-click on the horse. And it should put it on it. And then, um, where is it? Right here. You can make them stay. So see, he's staying. I gotta get him out of the ground. It's bugging me. Press F to dismount anything, by the way. Um, not like regular Minecraft stuff, but just like the horses and such. Um, use, use, do a right click on your horse, and it will make them stay. Kind of like with wheat, the wheat, then the hay stack will do the same thing. So next in here, we got <coughs> some. We got two pieces of leather and one gold ingot. Um, or this guy calls it a butter ingot, but I'm calling it gold, and that will make a medallion. Now you can also make a medallion. You, there's two ways to make a medallion. You can. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. And if you kill a horse with armor, it'll drop it. Just get these animals out of here. Okay, so there are also two ways to craft 
a medallion, and if you put gold like this, like in a U shape or minecart, and a diamond in the center, that'll make a medallion as well. Um, I'd recommend this because it doesn't require a diamond and <clears throat> it uses less gold. So, yeah. Um, next we have a black kitty bed. You can use any wool here. You can use white wool or blue wool. I just chose black. Um, just do an iron ingot, five, one iron ingot, five, any planks, and then any type of wool you want, and that'll make a, so if you have white wool here, it'll make a white kitty bed, and so forth with the rest of the wool, so, yeah. And it's getting night. So, right here, we got a litter box for your cat. And you just use eight wooden planks, um, one piece of sand, and then I'll make a litter box. And for those times when your cat is really bored, you can make string in this fashion. I'll make a wool ball, and they can play with that. <coughs> then right here, we got a rope to lead your pets and such. Any animal, pretty much. I'm not sure about villagers, though. Um, if you make an X out of string, you'll make a rope. And if your cat ever gets really hungry, you can use one pork chop and one raw fish, and that'll make pet food for pet food. Um, right here we got some advanced horse stuff, I suppose. So right here we got a heart of darkness, an ender pearl, and a glass bottle, and that'll make an essence of essence of darkness. And essentially, what that is. Hold on. Don't really need music. So basically, if you get a high tier horse to make don th there's a horse named a donkey apparently in this I am not a donkey a zebra and the zebras will they don't they're afraid of you so um you have to get a horse to make it so you have to get a really good horse to make it so that they are they can be tamed so once you tame them you can make a zor zorse by reading just any horse with it basically oops, my chest. if you feed them each of these different ones they'll turn into a different horse um darkness it'll turn into a bat horse then light it'll turn into a pegasus um fire will turn into a fire horse and then the essence of light will turn it to a um unicorn essence of darkness just turns undead you can't use essence of light so in here we got crystal horse armor for those special horses that you can find here. Um, I think you can put these on, do not donkeys, zebras, but I'm not too sure. Basically, this is how you create crystal armor. Kind of expensive, but it'll protect your horse a lot. Right here, we got some spawn eggs. We'll do that last. Right here, we got reptile armor. You just craft this uh, like any other armor. Um, fur, fur, hide, scorpion. The thing about these four scorpion armors is that they each give you a different buff they get this one gives you regen i think this one gives you like speed or something actually no this one gives this one gives you night vision and this one gives you fire resistance and then here are all the materials i just put the glass there just for easy put in so right here we've got diamond tusks for um um uh, for an elephant and basically this is how it's crafted i don't know if there's a diamond here i don't remember let me check um, tusk. Okay, there is a diamond right there. So, diamond like that, and rope, and that will get you diamond tusks. And basically, if you, you get different scorpion things from the different scorpions, like a frost scorpion, stuff like that. If you use a diamond sword with three of those, it'll make a scorpion sword. It'll make a different scorpion swords. Ignore that. That is from a different mod. Um, and right here I just got some random stuff like a fish bowl, fairy amulet, fishing net, scroll of sail, scroll of reset owner, <coughs> unicorn horn, ghost amulet, key, sky amulet, bone amulet, scroll of freedom, mm. platform, yada yada yada. Like you read all these. I didn't feel like showing crafting recipes for some of this. And then here's some more stuff. And then right here you can eat these. These are really good. And then these are some of the weapons. And then right here we got a blaze rod, essence of light, 
I have Ender, you get a Warven Portal Staff. Yes, there's a new dimension, and I'm going to use that last because it brings you to a different dimension. So, let's look at the spawn eggs. Or just the mobs. So, um, let's turn it off peaceful. Ogre, horse mob, horse, turkey, mouse, turtle, bird, snake, and a... That is not a mob from this mob. Prepare to get lots of noise. If you want to go on the form, oh my gosh, if you want to go on the form, you can find out what all these mobs look like, because I'm probably not going to get to all of them, because I'm time limited. So here are a lot of the mobs. And I think some of these do attack villagers, and I'm getting some extreme lag from this. Come on, drop. Okay, then we got these. As you can see, there are about a full ch double chest full of mobs. So, werewolf, he'll turn into a werewolf in a second. Crocodile, scorpion, color rat, rat, kitty, fishy, dolphin, shark, werewolf. I already showed the werewolf. It's night time, dude. Oh yeah, that dude turned into werewolf. I'm sorry this is really loud for you guys. I'm just trying to showcase all the mobs. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to turn into werewolf. Cricket, firefly, dragonfly, fly, bee, ostrich, goat, jellyfish, ray. Oh my gosh, I'm some extreme lag. Almost done, then I can show you the new dimension. Crab, maggot, roach, orvin. That's what you find in the warmest dimension thing. Moto dragon, elephant, big golem. These things build themselves with blocks, and they, they can do pretty much a lot of damage. Butterfly, and snail. That's... I can hear all the mobs die. I mean, here are some of the new mobs that were just added with... That's what they look like. So, we got a raccoon, a mini column, which are basically like those guys, but they just... They don't have a lot of health. I wonder how much health these guys have. 50 hearts, that's pretty good. Ant, silver skeleton... I just showed the ant, medium fish, small fish, and a piranha. Ooh, did I ever get the silver sword? Where is the silver sword? Oh, here it is. This is a silver sword. You get these as a rare drop from the silver skeletons. So now, without further ado, let's go into the new Warven dimension. You just right click with that staff and it should teleport you to the new dimension. I recommend having lots of good armor and I'm going to pause the video here and I'll be back when it's... Okay guys, I had a bit of trouble. It crashed. Um, I think it's because of all the mods I have. It should work for you. And, um, well that's basically Mo Creatures in a nutshell. So... Um, you can find all the stuff on the form thread. I'll leave a link in the description, hopefully. I remember. Um, this mod is really easy to install. All you need is Forge, and then you need to download GUI API, and then you need um, to put to the mods folder the custom mob spawner and mo creatures. Um, so, yeah, that's basically mo creatures. Alright. Um, I will see you next time, even though this was a very weird place to end off. There will be more mod showcases in the future, and hope your day is okay. Alright.